Lots of fun planned for our state lakes today. This weekend, you won't need a fishing license to cast your lines. Free fishing weekend runs through midnight tomorrow. Walmart and Amazon both announcing major purchases. Amazon buying up Whole Foods for a whopping $14 billion and Walmart grabbing clothing retailer Bonobos for more than $310 million. It's just the latest in corporate back and forth as retail giants compete for your business. And economists say the continuing war between Amazon and Walmart means only good things for you. Better selection, faster delivery, and of course, cheaper prices, because who doesn't want to save a couple of bucks? And starting tomorrow, a new law could leave you paying some heavy fines for texting and driving. Act 706 changes the law from a warning to up to a $250 fine. And that's not just for texting. The law also makes using social media sites like Facebook or Twitter illegal as well. So you're going to want to be safe out there. And this morning, police are searching for two men after an armed robbery at a Dollar General. It's a story you heard first from 4029. Police tell us two suspects walked into a store on South 8th Street in Rogers yesterday morning and demanded money. No word on how much cash they got away with. Now, if you know these two men, you're asked to call the Rogers Police Department. Police say they left the scene in a white SUV. His continued engagement in a Russia related investigation problematic. Sources say that vague answer from Comey was clarified late Thursday in a closed door briefing when he told committee members that Attorney General Jeff Sessions may have had a third undisclosed meeting with Russian officials. Sessions is expected to testify before the Senate committee this Tuesday, and he's facing new questions about meetings with Russian leaders. And if that meeting did happen, it could lead to serious legal implications. An Oklahoma man decided to pop the question in the middle of getting arrested. Officers were in the process of arresting 35 year old Brandon Thompson on felony warrants when he asked them if he could propose to his girlfriend before they took him away. Police body cameras caught the moment as the man got down on one knee. And in case you're wondering, his girlfriend, she said yes. Oh, man. Well, you know, at least they have that body cam footage for memories. <laughs> The Razorback spring game is still a few weeks away, but you can get your football fix today in Springdale. The Battle of the Blondes versus Brunettes is a benefit flag football game. Founder Elon Musk tweeted a photo of the first Model 3 to roll out of the factory. The new model is a more affordable version of the luxury Model S, but if you want one, you're going to have to wait a while. More than 380,000 people have already prepaid a deposit from one of their own. Guess everybody except me. Now on to a story about a high school student in Iowa who had a big secret that's finally been revealed. For the past four years, the class of 2017 has wondered, who is the mystery artist drawing their portraits? State rules and regulations are set to go into effect tomorrow for medical marijuana in Arkansas. The state's Board of Health unanimously approved the rules on marijuana registration cards, as well as testing and labeling of product. The regulations will also allow visitors carrying cards from other legalized states to purchase medicinal marijuana within Arkansas. And the president is standing by claims that releasing his tax returns is not an option for now. Yeah, but.